Hey, what's up guys? Dean Hansen here. Uh, today we're going to try and plasti dip these little uh, side panels on my 2013 Victory Judge. Might be a really dumb idea. Might look terrible. Good thing about plasti dip is it's not permanent. <laughs> you can peel it right off and never know what happened. Let's take a look at the other side here. This will serve as kind of like a before and after video. These panels just pull right off and push right on with grommets. There's no screws or anything. If you have to do screws, the screws will tighten down and rip the Plasti Dips. There's certain things you can put Plasti Dip on. There's certain things you just can't. First thing we're going to do is clean them. So we got some soap. It's just like dish soap, degrease type stuff. Clean up the plates and then spray them. Uh, the Plasti Dip has to be really warm. Um, I would not recommend this. It's 95 degrees out here. I got it warming up in the dash. <laughs> Do not leave it there very long or it'll blow up. Um, but the warmer the Plasti Dip is, the better it'll coat in my experience. Let's get started. All right, we got them all cleaned up. And we got it just kind of floating on top of two cans here. And we'll try and Paint it black. See how it looks. One thing with this plastic dip stuff, shake it like crazy. Two full minutes of aggressive shaking before you use it. All right, so the first coat is on and drying. And this stuff is not easy to apply. You can see it comes out like bumpy and sprays out kind of like sandpaper. And it's really hard to get a smooth coat. Um, a lot of people have said do really light coats, multiple light coats. When I do that, it comes out looking really bumpy. Like, like a really rough surface and it doesn't look good to me. So for me, in my experience with plastic, if I've been putting on usually just one, maybe two thick coats. And you know, I'm trying to get like that look right there. This will even fine. Let's focus on it. I don't really like to look next to it with the bumps. Um, problem with a thick coat is you'll get it run. It'll run. Um, let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, not really. Not the best lighting in here, but it's an okay coat, but I'm not super happy with it. All right, this is what she looks like. That's just one coat. Um, one thick coat put on. Looks pretty cool though. I actually kind of like the look, the blacked out look. Um, just put on a coat on this one here, second piece. Um, did a little bit better job on this one. I, I, you want to spray the box a few times and get a nice clean, a nice clean spray. And I didn't do that on the last one, so the first couple sprays were really choppy and bubbly, and and uh, I don't know if you can notice it on here. Um, but you end up with stuff like that, which I might have to redo this one, but it's not super noticeable from a couple feet away. But one problem I did do on this one is I got a little too thick on the sides and we're starting to run like crazy, which is no good. Um, let's see if we can focus on there. And uh, however, that's gonna be covered. That's, you won't see that. You'll pretty much just see the front and so I'm not too worried about that. But, so this piece came out really good. I like the look of it. Other than it's running like crazy right there, which is really bad. <laughs> but that's gonna be covered up by the seat, I believe. Let's see how it looks. All right, there it is. Looks pretty good. Didn't come out too bad, huh? I'm gonna hopefully put a sticker on there. 106 sticker. 